Welcome to Recurring Insight. It's the beginning of your upkeep, so it's time for another video. Today, we'll be looking at Sans Black decks. I'm your host, Michael, and let's dive in. The decks we'll be looking at are Evolution by Altine 7, Advantage Blue Pod by Helenium, and Dawn Waker Thrasios by Comedian. The decks use Thrasios to generate card advantage and Akiri or Bruce to pressure life totals. The Sans Black color identity causes them to lose access to tutors, so they leverage individual card quality along with their extensive combo suites. Evolution is the most proactive of the three, followed by Dawn Waker and then Vantage Blue Pod. To keep the video length to a reasonable level, I'm breaking it into two parts. This first part will look at the combos in each deck, while the second part will look at the individual card choices. To start, each deck runs the Dockside MEL combo. Begin by casting Dockside, generating at least 4 treasures. Then cast MEL for 4, and activate MEL for 3. This will flicker Dockside, generating another 4 treasures. This will net one treasure each iteration that can be filtered into Thrasios. Amiel can also be used with a mana source and an untapper or felidar. Only advantage Blue Pod and Dawn Waker run this as Evolution runs other combos. Dawn Waker branches out into other combos as well, so it cuts Priest of Titania and Deceiver Exarch. Please note that Priest of Titania and Bloom Tender only work with Derevi or a Deceiver Exarch. While this can be assembled manually, Yisun makes it into advantage blue pod and can assemble the combo, and that's the line we'll look at. Pay 3 to cast Yisun. Then, untap and wait for your opponent's next end step. Pay 3 to activate Yisun, finding query on Ranger. Go to your turn and untap. Activate Yisun, but holding priority, activate Ranger to untap Yisun. You can then activate Yisun again to find two 3 CMC creatures, Spellseeker and Derevi, Imperial Tactician. Derevi untaps Yisan, and Spellseeker finds Crop Rotation. Cast Crop Rotation, finding Gaia's Cradle. Activate Yisan again, finding Amiel. You can then activate Amiel, flickering Derevi, untapping Gaia's Cradle repeatedly. Advantage Blue Pod and Dawn Waker also run the Kiki combo, although as previously mentioned, Dawn Waker has cut Deceiver Exarch. Although the pieces can be manually assembled, it's most commonly assembled with Birthing Pod, and that's the line we'll be looking at. Starting with a 2 CMC creature, pay 3 mana and 2 life for Birthing Pod. Activate Pod to find Derevi or Exarch, which will untap Pod. Activate Pod again to find Felidar, which will flicker Pod, causing it to enter the battlefield untapped. Pod then finds Karma Guide, which reanimates Felidar Guardian, flickering Pod. Use Pod to find Kiki Jiki, then activate him to make a copy of Karma Guide, reanimating Felidar Guardian, flickering Kiki Jiki. You can then use Kiki Jiki to make a copy of Felidar Guardian, flickering Kiki Jiki. Repeat until you can swing in for the kill. Survival of the Fittest is also included in Vantage Blue Pod, which can put Guardian and Kiki in the graveyard and Karmic Guide in your hand. In Advantage Blue Pod, Yisan can also be used to assemble this. Get Ranger to double verse into Derevi and Zerida, untapping Yisan and decreasing the required activation cost. You can then get Felidar and Kiki Jiki. Evolution runs Breach which provides some much needed diversity from the creature based combos that dominate the decks. Wheel of Fortune can be used with LED, and Brain Freeze can be used with LED or Lotus Petal. Although this can be assembled manually, Evolution can assemble it with just Spellseeker, and that's the line we'll be looking at. Start with 5 other cards in your graveyard, and cast Spellseeker, finding Ephemerate. Cast Ephemerate, flickering Spellseeker to find Final Fortune. Ephemerate has Rebound, so it's exiled rather than hitting the graveyard. Cast Final Fortune, getting an extra turn. Go to your extra turn, and at the beginning of your upkeep, cast Ephemerate, flickering Spellseeker to find Enlightened Tutor. Cast Enlightened Tutor to find Underworld Breach, putting it on top of your library. Draw it for turn, and cast it. Cast Ephemerate from your graveyard, flickering Spellseeker to find Brain Freeze. Cast Enlightened Tutor to put LED on top of your library, then cast Brain Freeze targeting yourself. You can then repeatedly mill yourself using LED and Brain Freeze. This combo can also be assembled with Intuition, finding Breach, LED, and Savine's Reclamation. From here, you can get Breach onto the battlefield and use Intuition to find Brain Freeze. Evolution also runs the Bomberman combo, which is high risk but efficient. Dawn Waker takes advantage of Zerda by running the Monolith, which combo together to make infinite colorless mana. It also runs Power Artifact and Kinnon as redundant pieces, although Kinnon only works with Basalt Monolith. It's clear that the combos reflect the speed of the decks. They are all proactive, but Evolution runs the Bomberman combo, while Dawn Waker runs a greater amount of combos. However, due to the slot intensity, it invests less heavily into the combos it does have, 
an advantage blue pod. Credit goes to Altine 7, Helenium, and Comedian for the decks, and Scryfall for the images. I also want to shout out Comedian's YouTube channel. He does gameplay videos where he breaks down each decision point and more. I highly recommend checking him out. Regarding the Christmas giveaway, Cestrus Trader King is the giveaway winner, so congratulations to you. That ends part 1. The next episode will delve into the specific card choices of these decks. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm your host, Michael, and I'll see you at the beginning of your next upkeep for part 2.